Welcome to the Board Game Brothers 10 Subscriber Special Unboxing. I am the Board Game Warlord. And I am Sir Fails A Lot. Today, we are going to be unboxing the KV-1S T3485 and the SU-100, the three Russian tanks. Let's get to it, shall we? So, the SC-100 is assault gun, it's life length, firepower of 6, survivability of 2, maneuverability of 2, initiative of 3, the hit points of 5, and 4 crew members. It is a tank destroyer, a tier 6, the cost of 51 coins. Very cheap for a very powerful tank. Now on to the main upgrade cards. Coated optics. It is an equipment or an upgrade card. It's plus one initiative. And we have here intuition is a crew upgrade card. It is the for the loader. At the beginning of the shooting phase, discard an ammo upgrade up card to uh, gain the Six initiative for the entire phase. Six initiatives. That is a lot of initiatives yep. for the phase. And it's worth it. Now for another crew, which is a commander. And he has concealment. Plus one survivability while in cover. Very useful. And plus one survive plus one initiative during the movement phase. And it has recon. At the start of the game, Im at, immediately after deployment, this tank may make up to two moves. Yes, it is very effective, especially uh, this upgrade card, this commander. It's uh, it's very it's really interesting because if you have concealment, that you add like what extra survivability and plus your tank destroyer and if you're in cover that'll be like at least let's see here mm. right, your tank destroyer that's one you're in cover that's two you have concealment that's three and your tank destroyer in cover that's four at least four survivability it gives you a better chance to defend against any enemy fire that's being shot towards you and recon will basically uh get you to your position earlier and probably scare your enemy tanks into uh, the position you want them to be and put them in a very tight spot. So now we're heading on to the V234M engine module which is the SU100. For the SU100 is uh, specifically built for the SU100 as you can see. Uh, it Plus two initiative during the shooting phase, and finally we have the lend lease oil is uh, consumable only for the Soviet Union to use. No other nation can use it. So uh, it's also plus two initiative during the movement phase. It's just, uh, as long as you discard it. Finally, the n one of the newest Soviets. It is the T-3485. It's basically T-34's big brother. So, it's a tier 6 medium tank, cost of 39. And it has a firepower of 5, survivability of 1, maneuverability of 3, initiative of 5, hit points of 5. Basically, like a Cromwell, but way stronger. Uh, I think you said uh, the cost wrong, so it's your 10 coins off. It's 49 instead of 39. Oh, my mistake. Well, that's better. Meh, way better. Pretty good price for a Soviet very, very fast tank. Now, on to the upgrade cards. Alright, so uh, we have the T-3485 uh, high explosive gun. And uh, it discard all 
hits before assisting damage. And uh, we have the T3485 extended turret. Uh, it's plus one initiative. We'll, and then we have the snapshot crew card. Uh, it's for tanks without assault gun. Obviously, the T34 doesn't have any assault gun. Uh, it's plus two initiative during the shooting phase. Uh, uh, and then we have the turbocharger equipment. That sounds pretty cool. It's and for the medium tanks, it's plus three initiative during the sh during the movement phase. And for all other tanks, it's plus two initiative during the movement phase. And then finally, moving on to the commander of the tank. He has mentor plus two initiatives in the moving phase for every two crew cards attached to this tank. He also has eagle eye, which will be very important for the T-34, especially if you're equipping the high explosives on him. Wow, that is a lot of uh, initiative boost for the movement phase, especially for this tank. And then we shall move on to the KV-1. Okay, so for the KV-1, it has a firepower of 4, survivability of 2, movement of 2, initiative of 4. And it's strangely a heavy tank. I know it looks like a medium tank, but believe me, it is a heavy tank. And it has a hit point of 5, and, is, and it has 5 crews, and it costs 43. And he's a tier 5, so it's a low tier for a heavy tank, but it sounds pretty good. And now for the upgrade cards. We have extra combat rations. So just in case you get a little hungry in the middle of battle, you get to eat and then take a nice little break and then bail back inside your tank instead of bailing out. And it's discard to use, obviously, that you only have you only have one pair of combat combat rations. <laughs> and you could repair a radio damage or bail out critical card. And for the engine. Okay, so the engine is for the KV-1 ISC-152. So you can place this engine on the ISC-152 if you like. It plus two initiative during the movement phase. And uh, we have Smooth Ride, which is a crew card for the driver. When shooting, treat this tank's movement token as one less when calculating its target's defense dice. And we have the radio operator who will who will call for vengeance when your tank is destroyed, so that all of your friendly tanks will gain one initiative until the end of the next turn. So he will basically squeak for help. He's like, help! Revenge me! I'm about to die! You guys all will gain one initiative! And they all gain one initiative because they're more wiser now. Yep, and now we have the gunner, uh, which, who has snapshot and uh, concealment. Snapshot has two, plus two initiative during the shooting phase, and uh, concealment is add one extra survivability while in cover. I'd say this is a pretty good heavy tank for its tier. I mean, obviously, if you compared it with the IS-2, it would seem smaller, but... If you do like a tier 5 tank battle, then that will be a different story. But what if you're up against a Cromwell? Then that will probably be a much more even fight most likely. Since you have the snapshot, concealment, and smooth ride. And you'll probably have, uh, you'll probably at least match the, or probably at least get the same amount of initiative during the movement phase as the Cromwell, so, but the Cromwell, the Cromwell will be faster, but this would be a pretty close battle if we put those two against each other. And that will be all for the three tanks. Overall, I think that it, these three tanks would be very powerful. It's, they would really add a boost to your platoon. Yep. Yes, I quite agree. Especially with the SE-100, it 
Fire Paw 6, that's really, really, really nice. That would give, like, IS2 Jr., basically. But the only thing I'm worried about is that it's Light Flank. But what's the chance of you getting Light Flank if you're sniping? So, I would advise you guys to get these tanks as well if you're playing with your friends or family. Or if you're a collector. All these tanks are worth the money. Their price is really good. And their quality is amazing. Yes. I mean, look at the detail of these tanks. I mean, like, it's super detailed. Like, the T-34 is very detailed. And the KV-1, the I, the I, uh, sorry, the SU-100. Yeah, they would be pretty powerful, especially if you have like a sniper like the SU-100. Yeah, and you can have a little bodyguard for your other runner, that's, and your bodyguard's also a runner. So that's really good, and his firepower is like a panther, which is really good for a Soviet, so they have basically their own panther now. Alright, if you guys want to buy these tanks, go to guildforce9.com or just look up their store. They also sell mats and starter kits, which, yeah, they basically will teach you how to play the game, like how we play the game. And, yeah, so make sure you like and subscribe. And share, and uh, we'll see you next time.